time to talk about your health. Living a Primal Lifestyle with your hosts, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Now, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Good morning, I'm Nico DeHaan, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms, good morning, I'm Ellen DeHaan. Well, it's a beautiful morning in downtown St. Petersburg, 54 degrees, clear skies, going up to 70, it's kind of nice. It's beautiful, it's a little dry, I'm, my, my throat isn't used to it. Oh, really? Uh, it's because <laughs> of the heat, I'm sure, all that artificial heat. I'd like to remind you of a couple things here, let me get my cursor, I can't even find the thing. Where is it? I don't know. It's a mystery. Ah, there oh, it is. I, I see it somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it yeah, is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Uh, Primal Edge, uh, our one-shot wonder. Uh, get this to uh, get your health in order. Uh, during these COVID times, really important to get all the nutrition you need. And we have in here fulvic and humic acid that gets the good stuff in. And lets the bad stuff out. And then the second thing we have is our health oh, signals. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes. we, have a, we do have a promo Oh, going yes, on. we do. Yeah, I should yeah, mention so, that. Uh, $25 you, off. Off the first bottle if you yep. order it. And it's a promo uh, 2020. Primal 2020. <laughs> what the heck is it? It's on the website. So. It's on the website. Okay. <laughs> Look it up, folks. Know. It's, it's that kind of morning. <laughs> yeah. Health Signals newsletter, of course. Uh, this follows the show. So what we're talking about here shows up in the Health Signals newsletter. So you can read what we're talking about and make up your own conclusions. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning for sure. You know, uh, this time of year, it's always kind of like about renewal. We're coming into the new year. Mm -hmm. We just, yeah, yesterday was the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, uh, the longest night. Mm -hmm. uh, I also think... Uh, my birthday is kind of a renewal from myself, and maybe each individual person thinks mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. The other days are spring. I always really, especially when I was living up north, you know, that first spring it's day. The when smell you could of the actually, air. Yeah, you yeah. could go to the park and actually lay on the grass mm -hmm. for a little while, and then you could be grounded, and you could hear the birds and everything. And just fond memories for me that uh, it is about renewal. It's about change. And certainly after 2020, I think we probably do need a big change. <laughs> It feels like we need one. Well, sure. we could use some good news and we could use some happy thoughts and we could, yeah. you know, uh, a lot of things. It's interesting. I was thinking about it the other day because I was wishing somebody a happy birthday on Facebook, you know, mm -hmm. and I thought, and I say, you know, I hope you have a great year. And I thought, oh, yeah, it's kind of like your birthday is really New Year's Day. In a way, yeah. For, for each person. And yeah. you say, you know, the, the coming year of your life. Yeah, and it's time to reflect and look at the past and see how you can improve it. And it's the way I think, anyway. A couple of subjects today. I want to talk about sleep, and I want to talk about uh, food packaging, because food packaging has a lot to do with our health, too. Mm -hmm. So let's start out with this first article, which I thought was very interesting. There's mysterious link between COVID-19 and sleep. And here there was this guy at the Cleveland Clinic, Chen was his name, uh, who was uh, using artificial intelligence to search for hidden clues in the structure of the virus to predict how it invaded human cells and how it might be stopping it. Talking about right at the beginning, he was noticing, he noticed the virus before it was even named. Uh, I guess I assume a lot of scientists did. And, yeah. and he was looking for something that would help with treatment or uh, recognizing the pattern or any of that. Yeah, and one observation stood out, the virus could potentially be blocked by melatonin. Now, this is interesting to me because they've also had success in treating people with uh, vitamin D3, mm -hmm. the sun vitamin. Mm -hmm. And both of these uh, things are more like a hormone than they are a vitamin. Mm. Because they, they kind of spur on different activities in those hormones. So uh, this might be a good thing. And he says he published his research. Uh, he heard from other scientists who thought there might be something to it. They noted that in addition to melatonin's melatonin. well-known uh, uh, effects on sleep, it plays a part <laughs> in calibrating the immune system. Yeah, and I think that's important. That's really important because what happens is the uh, the body has self protection mm -hmm. as ways of dealing with infection and and so on. But 
at some point, once that's been dealt with, it can continue to attack, as it were, and that's how we get inflammation. Right, the inflammation just keeps on going. They, he said here, people taking melatonin has significant lower odds of developing COVID-19, much less dying of it. Other researchers also known uh, made similar observations. Yeah, the, the thing is that uh, inflammation is really the source of, of all of our ills. We've talked about it for, yeah. you've been talking about it for years. We've mm -hmm. been talking about it for quite a number of months. And, and uh Anything you can do to reduce inflammation is going to make promote healing in your body and it's going to stop uh, potentially problematic things from developing. And yeah. So uh, getting a good night's sleep, it turns out, is really important. And when you say a good night's sleep, it, it varies from person to person, but the idea is that sleep is extremely important. Now, last week you talked about the fact that during your sleep your body repairs itself. Right. So, if it's not digesting food. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that was the point that, that you know, you, you conclude you're eating at some reasonable hour of the day and then give your body a chance to digest before you go to bed. Right. And then while you're sleeping, your body's repairing and, and doing what it needs to do and fighting inflammation. Yeah. So uh, it, it is an important time in, in your daily cycle. For sure. Yeah, and the virus is capable of altering the delicate processes within our nervous system, and in many cases in unpredictable ways, they say, sometimes creating long-term symptoms. The better uh, appreciating the ties between immunity and the nervous system could be central in understanding this. And it seems like uh, with this new COVID vaccine, which is a uh, the mRNA uh, vaccine type of thing so it actually goes into the cell and cleans it mm -hmm. and they still don't know if it actually uh, stops transmission or not they're still up in the air about it and now we have two or three other strains and they don't know whether these things are going to impact us different ways so a lot of things going on and this is well, important information yeah I think we need to also point out that according to the scientific the research that's been done since the initial discovery that melatonin may be directly beneficial mm -hmm. is that it's not not sufficient to like pop a melatonin pill before you go to sleep you know the idea is to promote a healthy uh, cy uh, cycle in your body so that your brain automatically creates yeah just doing it artificially a lot of, for a lot of people it doesn't work anyway so this is why we come up with little routines like we have ours we shut the lights down uh, we exactly. kind of quiet Stop the house reading. Thing. you don't look at the screen yeah uh, a lot of people do a little yoga they might do some breathing you know there's all kinds of little routines that we've always come up with to help us sleep and those seem to be better yeah aromatherapy all yeah. these things Put some, some lotion on that smells good to you and helps you relax. And, you know, the key is it, with aromatherapy, what you want to do is, is associate a smell with relaxing. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, if, there are generally things that when you smell them, you think, oh, just for whatever reason. And that could be anything. Lavender. Like lavender. Yeah, lavender seems to work quite well for a lot of people. Yeah. So anyway, we'll continue more with this. when we come back. Yeah. Stick around, folks. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're talking about sleep and how important it is and how what, what part it may play in treating COVID or preventing COVID. Yeah. And one of the, uh, the central function of sleep is to prepare is to maintain proper channels of cellular communication in the brain. So without sleep, the uh, waste products and the byproducts that don't get cleared out of your system then act to impair communication. <clears throat> They're saying that in the early stages of COVID-19, you feel extremely tired. And then later on, you can't sleep at all. So the goal is to break out of that cycle or prevent it completely. And the benefits of sleep are that they're important for immune function, and it also helps regulate metabolism, including glucose and, and mechanisms controlling appetite and weight gain. So not yeah. only does this bear on COVID-19. Well, it also says here that these effects may even bear on vaccination. Flu shots appear mm -hmm. to be more effective among people who slept well in previous days to getting one. That's interesting. Yeah. That's a huge thing because, like we said, the whole body is into a stasis where it's repairing itself. It's doing functions that it's not doing while you're active. And, of course, it uh, makes sense if that's disrupted now, you're not getting any help at all. And your body needs more help. So if you're feeling tired during those early times, you definitely need to rest. And then maybe you need some help or come up with some things, which we'll discuss on how maybe to increase your sleeping. You know, and they also talk here about the fact that um, if people don't sleep, that well, they're saying that they, they, you know, wash your hands, but they're also saying sleep more, and it's uh, sleep fortifies and prepares us for any crisis, but especially when the days are short and cold, the winter time, mm -hmm. and people have little else they might do to empower and protect themselves, and monotonous days. Can lead and, and certainly during this pandemic, there have been many days that were just seemed to drag on and on when you didn't have your routine. And, and now you have to fill it. And one of the ways of filling it, of course, <laughs> is doing some things like taking a walk, uh, scheduling a walk, maybe uh, reducing your blue light uh, before you go to bed, schedule your bedtime, and even on the weekends, go to bed the same time and wake up the same time. Yeah, that that's helps. A, yeah, sometimes a lot of people on the weekend will stay up much later than they normally do and. Maybe get and sleep in so that their circadian rhythm is disrupted. Yeah. <clears throat> they, uh, it, it's, uh, there was something else in here. There was, oh, uh, we're seeing people who are is isolated, not exercising, and then they're not sleeping because depression and anxiety make insomnia worse. Yeah. 
And it's a cumulative effect, too. It builds on itself. And the more, yeah. you, the more problem you have, the more problem you have. Yeah, you <laughs> kind of talk yourself into it, in a mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. I found this uh, interesting uh, ladders.com, a website, uh, and this is an article by Sarah Dillon. Uh, Self-practice uh, is kind of an old-style uh, who people who are struggling with sleep, they can do this before you go to bed, mm -hmm. and it'll help you sleep. So self-care? Yeah, it's kind of self-care. Yeah. And I had never heard of anything like this, and I've never had this done. But it's Arvaic medicine is the world's oldest holistic whole body healing system. Ayurved. Yeah. yeah. It was developed more than 3,000 years ago in India, probably 5,000 years ago, if mm -hmm. I recall. Uh, one new approach... And, and well, the point of Ayurvedic yes. medicine is that it promotes, it promotes health. Mm -hmm. It supports your immune system and so on, rather than trying to treat and fight disease. So they're trying to prevent disease. Yeah, it takes into account your unique physical, emotional makeup and your primary life force and the balance between all of these three elements. One new approach is dealing with uh, sleep dis uh, disturbances is massaging the bottom of your feet with a bronze, copper, tin, or zinc apparatus covered in either coconut oil, some kind of uh, cow ghee. Which or, is the butter. Yeah, which is the butter, clarified butter. Clarified butter. butter. Mm -hmm. And then kokum butter, which I guess is another clarified uh, butter. Mm -hmm. Basically, before you jump into bed, get some well-earned uh, massaging from the soles of your feet with these uh, devices and the coconut oil. And it promotes sleep, so that would be interesting, too. Yeah, it increases your blood circulation in your lower limbs. It relaxes tired, sleep-deprived eyes to encourage them to close peacefully. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Promotes a deeper sleep that prevents people from waking up in the middle, middle of the night too frequently. Too frequently. There's nothing more than just laying there. Oh, it I is. Mean, it's tossing and turning and... Yeah. Thinking, oh my God, I have to get up early and why? And I need to sleep and yeah, go to maybe sleep. Maybe if I turn over this side, I'll be able to do it. No, that's not working. I'll yeah, go back right. to this side, then sleep on my back, get up, take a pee, or drink something warm. I mean, all these little things, and nothing seems to work a lot of times. So maybe this will. Sometimes I, I do yoga breathing just to uh, calm my heart. And, mm -hmm. You know, the one thing, I get all nice and relaxed as sitting out resting and uh, reading with a black screen and, and I start yawning and feeling tired. Well, if I get up and I, put, and I plug in my, my iPad and then I plug in my phone and then I go to the bathroom and by the time I'm in the bed, I'm wide awake again. <laughs> like, I don't, don't do know, <laughs> I don't know how to balance that. Yeah. So I have to figure that out. But, yeah. uh, Undisturbed sleep allows our body to repair, thus improve our immunity. This practice not only helps prevent you from feeling exhausted but uh, and unable to focus the next day, it could also aid in the fighting of COVID-19 should mean, you become infected. Yeah. That's, that's the key, is to try and boost your immune system however you can. Mm -hmm. And there are so many ways to do it, I mean, just from what you eat, and from what, and maybe if you're taking like primal edge, mm -hmm. if you're if you're doing the yoga, if you're doing any breathing, if you're doing the following some of these suggestions that you can find. Yeah, take that walk uh, scheduled and go to bed at the same time Use every night. Use aromatherapy. Yeah, you know there is there are ways of if you feel good, then you are in better chance have a better chance of fighting off and or not coming down with the virus in the yeah. first place. So, uh, you know, if you're a person who gets everything that comes down the, down the hallway in your office, well, that's going to, the, you should be taking a look at what your life is and, and how you're living it and how you're protecting yourself. Yeah. And I'm sure there's other different uh, little, I'm sure everybody has a little routine that they go through before bedtime. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the glass of warm milk. Uh, I remember a lot of people say that. I never liked warm milk, so I never <laughs> did that. <laughs> but, uh, well, the other know. thing that I do is I get ready for bed a, at least an hour and a half before I, I brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, do that stuff. Right. And then when I sit down, I can really relax because if I got up and then went and brushed my teeth, washed my face and yeah. all that other, 
that would wake me up again. I and would. there's also just making up your mind. Like at 8 o'clock, we kind of just, okay, ditch everything. We've made up our mind. 9 o'clock, I'm going to bed. You stay up a little later. But we've got that thing down. Okay, well, this is 8 o'clock, so now we start our little routines. Uh -huh. And I think the, these are important things because I'm sure our ancestors, you know, they had the little crackling fire outside maybe, you know, that kind of is a, a nice oh, way. Well, when it got dark, I mean, there's, without artificial light, even by candlelight. Candlelight is much more relaxing on your eyes. Than well, I don't ever remember going camping and not falling asleep. I mean, you go camping. I don't ever remember going camping. Yeah. So <laughs> well, I'm that's good. about to end, honey. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we live in different worlds and sometimes, but, you know, you're, I like your kind of style of camping, too. It's a nice hotel, so I mean, that's not a bad Hot thing shower, either. Hot shower, you know, yeah. it's, it's all good. But the thing is, is getting th yourself ready and, uh, you know, the outside might be just taking that a walk outside. Yeah, it's you know, a especially now. fresh air, yeah. looking at the green. Okay. Yeah, oh, well, we'll be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. So we're talking about sleep. I found this article, Seven Things You Need to Know Before You Pull an All-Nighter. And I've done that in my past, not lately. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, 
sleep is really an important thing, and newborns uh, need 14 to 17 hours. Those are the ones uh, 0 to 3 months old. 12 to 15 hours at 4 and 11 months, and toddlers between 11 and 14 hours of sleep. Children, 10 to 13 hours. Those are people that are uh, 3 to 5 years old. And 9 to 11 hours if you're 6 to 13 years old. And then as a teenager, 8 to 10 hours. It goes down a little bit as you're an adult, 7 to 9. And as a senior, you need a little bit less, maybe 7 to 8. And that's probably because your body's not, you kind of stopped growing. Uh, and after uh, one of the things I remember in a lot of the classes I took is that once the, uh, you're, you're past uh, childbearing, mm -hmm. in nature, it's not much interested in you anymore. The whole purpose of life is to, you know, reproduce, <laughs> and yeah. But once you reproduce, that's pretty much you downhill from there on. <laughs> Although for human beings, that seems to have changed. Yeah, well, at least uh, we're not like some of the uh, insects and animals that you know they after they reproduce they die. So yeah, that's yeah, that's more drastic. <laughs> That'd be, uh, that would be that would change your uh, whole system there. But the one thing in this article that just struck me that I had never understood was, I knew that if you don't eat, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And if you don't drink water, you know, you can, you can go without, you could, if you're drinking water, you can go longer. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, according to this article, if, if you don't eat or sleep after 15 days, animals die. Well, I hate to be part of that experiment. Yeah. And so when they do human sleep deprivation studies, they can't keep people awake for more than two days because of safety concerns. And so after three days of no sleep, people start having illusions and hallucinations. And then they know something isn't quite right. If the sleep deprivation continues in the fifth or sixth day, they believe what they see. It begins, you know, the onset of psychotic, onset of psychotic symptoms. Mm -hmm. And that is just amazing. Uh, it, and they say that even one night of lost sleep causes uh, changes in immune function that promotes inflammation, mm -hmm. metabolic changes in the way sugar is processed that can lead to a pre-diabetic state when blood sugar levels remain elevated, increased car uh, cravings for simple carbs and junk food, and coupled with changes in the reward centers of the brain, elevated heart rate and blood pressure, declines in cognitive processing, including memory, concentration, and alertness, and increased anxiety and depression. Yeah, the researchers even found that uh, when they're looking at this, that accidents that are related to sleep loss, uh, like if they have a fatality or injury, uh, yeah, is mir uh, mirroring driving. those yeah, of drunk driving, people who are drunk. That's what yeah, they're that, kind of... Yeah, that, like a point zero seven blood alcohol equivalent yeah, sleep from one night. Sleep deprivation impairs motor skills at a level compared to blood alcohol levels exceeding the legal limit. Yeah, it's really, that's really something. You know, how many people are staying up and, you know, especially on a weekend maybe, or if you're out with friends or you're, you know, you're not getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, even though your body and your uh, physiology and your cognition are all impaired as a function of the sleep loss, your self-report of how well you think you're doing doesn't really match that actual ability. <laughs> you think you're okay. Right. Right. You know, and that's, uh, right. that's that's definitely can be a problem. I think there you go through different phases. There's uh, I know uh, the times I've pulled an all-nighter. There's that two or three hours that you feel wonderful, mm -hmm. and then uh, then it goes down. Yeah, <laughs> but the, I think it kind of goes in waves too, mm -hmm. in a sense too. Mm -hmm. Well, it does say it says there are things you can do if you have to stay up. Um, drink caffeine every few hours. Right. And These are some of the hints as what the best way is to pull an all-nighter. Well, and this is, comes from If you the, have to. Yeah. Experts and the science are all in agreement. All it's and nighters. best not to do it. <laughs> it's best not to do it, but if you have to do it, drink coffee every few hours. Stay hydrated. That's the opposite of coffee. Well, caffeine, in a sense. it says, but not necessarily yeah. coffee. But right. Yes. Having to get up to go to the bathroom will keep you moving, if nothing else. Uh, another thing is keep bright lights on, and this is the opposite of what we do, because, right. and that's the reason, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, another one here is kind of cute uh, chew some gum. <laughs> Take breaks, move around. Maybe a bubble gum would be in order. No, yeah, keep blow you busy. bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give you something to do, keep, yeah. you, keep you moving. Uh, work with a group. If you have a group task, get on Zoom together. Well, that's the only way to these days. You know, it's very interesting because this article was written, I mean, 
it's nine months ago, nobody would have said anything about Zoom calls. No, you know, it's no. just that now it's just part of the culture. Yeah, it sure is. We've seen uh -huh. a bunch of Zooms uh, in the last week, haven't oh, we? Yes, we have. It's, yeah. But it's good. The sleepfoundation.org emphasizes the, the, that once you've made it through an all-nighter, you must recover, and you shouldn't drive the next day. The site also recommends you avoid a long afternoon map than nap the next day. Instead, try and wait to go to bed at your normal time to recover those natural your sleep cycles. patterns. Your yeah. cycles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are the long health effects of all-nighters? Long term. Long term, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I think we could say not only just about all-nighters, but about basically sleep deprivation as a whole, as a continuing condition. Sure, sure. And that just means you're not getting enough sleep. If you're, you're, you may have insomnia, you may have depression or anxiety, things that prevent you from falling asleep and then from staying asleep. Mm -hmm. But for people who lose sleep frequency, such as shift workers, the consequences of sleep deprivations are serious. The body is not good at recovering from multi, uh, multiple, what well, they call this, earthquakes and damages piling up. So just the shock of not sleeping. Well, having a different schedule, not going to bed when the sun is, when the sun, when it's dark. With the natural but, room. But going to bed during the day or right. whatever. And, and they, their uh, World Health Organization is linking that to cancer. Mm, wow. Yeah. Chronic sleep deprivation may also trigger onset mental health conditions in people who are vulnerable. In the first place, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then other maladies can link to chronic sleep deprivation or poor sleep, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> include kidney disease, high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and problems fighting infections. Sleep is very important. Yeah, you know, people don't realize quite how, and, uh, you know, don't make fun of anybody because they like to sleep. That's <laughs> the moral of this story. Don't make fun Maybe of anybody, be, period. Well, yeah. that's true. Yeah, right now. No mm -hmm. bullying. No bullying. Yeah. But they do have five strategies to avoid having to do an all-nighter in the first place. Right. And so, you know, one of them is, of course, don't procrastinate. Get your work done during the day. You know, put, put, do the task you don't want to do first. Yeah, could you be uh, organizing your days more effectively is one of the questions you need to ask yourself. Uh, time management. Yeah, time management. Mm -hmm. Consider going to bed late, getting up early as opposed to an all-nighter. Yeah, so that's another option. So you option. get some sleep. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's a good option too. Yeah, and then um, they talk about weighing the consequences. You know, can you can you catch up on the work, maybe work a little bit on a weekend or something, and if you have to, to get a project done, rather yeah. than trying to stay up all night. Well, now that during these COVID times, it seems like people have more time than ever. It's just a matter of organizing it properly, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Uh, we got another subject that we're going on, so uh, stick around. We've got uh, lots of fun. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. 
silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. I want to talk about the history of food packing. Uh, yeah, this moving is, on. <laughs> yeah, this is really important to how we look at health, uh, at our own health, because uh, the packaging has really changed. Of course, hundreds of years ago, food was mostly grown and produced locally, and therefore there was no need for packaging. Uh, things like sugar were the exception, and maybe some things that were imported in sacks or barrels coming from other countries. Or other neighborhoods. Yeah, mm -hmm. but as time goes by, the population grew, industries advanced, and the transportation of food became essential. And this, of course, we moved into cities, and if the food is not right beside you, now you have to invent something new, a different way. But it was uh, interesting because they came up with all these different cans and bottles and, and ways of, uh, ways of, that you could reuse the tin, you know, the, uh, for your lunch or to use it for a Christmas present or put cookies in it or, mm -hmm. you know, something of that nature so that it wouldn't just be a one-use container. And they're very attractive mm -hmm. and, and uh, artwork, really, and um, uh, it was, the quality, they, they were trying to get uh, the message. The meme was the quality of the packaging meant you had quality product inside, you right. know, which helped with sales. Yeah. And then we also had... The next one was bottles. Kay. Yeah, the bottles. And if you look at, the, for example, the Coca-Cola bottle, you know, that, that shape is iconic. Yeah. You, it doesn't matter. It could have no label on it whatsoever. Everybody knows that's a, quote, Coke bottle, close quote. Yeah, know? so we kind of went from the previous picture here of the fancy thing, no advertising, this was just cute stuff, to all of a sudden, hey, let's put a label on it and let's tell, tell people what's in here and let's fancy it up and let's brand ourselves a little bit. So this is really where advertising started. No longer did you have just corn on the cob mm. uh, alongside the road. Now you brought it into town, maybe in a package of some kind that didn't look like the product, but was kind of a different meme mm -hmm. being uh, per mm -hmm. perpetuated. Very interesting. Well, and plus, well, they talked about 1950s is, to yeah. 1980s, and they, the uh, aluminum, aluminum departmentalized trays Aluminium, from Swanson, yes. Swanson TV dinners. You know, um, it turns out that aluminum is highly toxic to the human body, mm -hmm. and things, and so many things had aluminum in them, and aluminum cans, and uh, and, and aluminum. Uh, in deodorant, for example, yep, yep. and I, I know that uh, 25 more, well, about more than 25 years ago, uh, you were pointed it out to me and I stopped using the aluminum, the yep. aluminum deodorant, yep. went to the natural, and it's worked quite well, and, and I'm sure that by now my body has purged itself of the, of the damaging uh, metals, but, yep. and then polyethylene and polyethylene terra 
Terra phthalate were created for food bags and film covers. And uh, the design of aluminum cans was revolutionized. Now, you because know, now they had a coating inside, so the aluminum uh, wouldn't, wouldn't come off into in the, the right exactly into the food, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but, but the those those plastics, you know, the the coatings, the poly polyurethanes, or poly oh, it had so many different. Remember the first little plastic wrap that you had. I mean, you had to be so careful because if it bunched up, it would stick. It would stick forever, <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, it was how no many, going back. I know, exactly. <laughs> and nowadays you can, so it's kind of funny right, how it happens. Right. So 1980s to today, uh, with the invention of the Internet and digital technologies. 1990s. Uh, 1990s, excuse mm -hmm. me. Uh, global businesses became commonplace and no longer restricted to mega brands. This meant there was more competition. Packaging took on a more important role than ever. After all, this is what made your food items stand out amongst the other ones on the shelf. I remember even in the 50s, the first bottle of, or first uh, box of uh, cereals, uh, that had a little prize in it for mm -hmm. the kid mm -hmm. to get him to eat these things because these were, you know, before we were eating bacon and eggs and all of a sudden cereals came on. And besides porridge or oatmeal, eh, there was really not much cereal that we used, especially, you know, in, in these countries here in the United cream States. Cream of wheat. That was my yeah, favorite. Yeah, cream, cream of but wheat. But of course, so. they had to put a lot of brown sugar in it and right. butter. Because it, never, it tasted like crap. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. It tasted like the box. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, but packaging is interesting because uh, this is how we see things today. I mean, you know, the Model T uh, Ford was all black and just mm -hmm. had one or two styles, maybe a, a different doors or something, or maybe they had a different trunk on the back. But these days, we identify with these objects so much. I mean, my truck is me. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, this is the way wheels. we see. I love my wheels exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, the you know, packaging as a practical uh, application is to preserve the food and keep it in one place, and and uh, oh yeah, I it forgot increases. About that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it increases shelf life, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but, and then we came, we we went through that that whole cycle of uh, reusing the water bottle, the plastic water bottles. Yes. And then they discovered that that was toxic because yeah. of the things that were bleeding into the water from from the plastic. From the plastic, and yeah, especially if it's in the sun, uh, so in the car, in the car, heat, yeah, that was a big problem. Yeah. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> well, some things have really improved. I notice when we go to Whole Foods and the chicken is just vacuum packed. Yes. So it keeps a lot longer. Mm -hmm. I know when there was kind of a food scare in the beginning of this, I bought a whole bunch of stuff and vacu vacuum packed everything or made sure it was yeah, all vacuum packed. Yeah, we have a machine, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it, that really helps preserve it. So our packaging has come. The problem really is the advertising packages, advertising things that may or may not be good for you. It doesn't, you know, you, you shouldn't be deceived by the package whether it's good or not. Yeah, Which, but in yeah. real life, I mean, the whole thing about marketing and, and creating the design is to attract the eye yes. and attract the, uh, you know, reach for that one because I like the way it looks. And you don't even realize mm -hmm. that it's a subliminal thing. But packaging is very important to yeah, the just sales think of, and marketing. Think about the advertising has changed so much. Now we have these five and ten second things on YouTube. Oh. You know, and they're, they're actually now, before you cut them off and you didn't see the whole message, now they're designed in five and 15 seconds. And Some you of them are. You can't skip. And, and you can't skip. Well, skip it in five and it's over, and there's another five there. Yeah. It gets really annoying, but this is now, we're just giving little flashes of things. Maybe that's enough. Well, you know, it's certainly subliminally, remember in the old days, if there was a hidden message someplace, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, something Flash would be flashing. You would, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't see it uh, necessarily, yeah. but your mind is supposed to pick it up, that type well, of thing. Well, my, I'm a, not a good consumer of ads because I can never remember what the product was. Mm -hmm. And so obviously when you're doing an ad, you want the people to remember the product. And they don't have to remember the ad, but they need to. These days, they have contests and, and competitions for the best ads. Mm -hmm. People watch the Super Bowl to see the ads, right. you know, yeah. although lately they haven't been as good. But, you know, right now I'm looking at a, an ad for Kohl's department store that has a, a beautiful, I mean, there's, there's no talking in it. It's about t a little girl and an older lady that live next door, and they discover, they see each other through a window. Mm -hmm. And then the lady disappears, and then when she comes back, she has a, a hospital bracelet on her wrist, oh. you know, but the whole point was, you know, it's about 
the holidays and, and whatnot. And the lady says, puts up a sign, did you get what you wished for for Christmas? And the little girl shakes her head because she now can see the lady again. Uh. You know, it's like, you're crying in a Coles commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I love the holidays. We have another segment <laughs> we'll coming right up. Back. We'll be right <laughs> Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameritrade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. We're talking about food packaging, and it has, isn't always for the better. You know, mm -hmm. change isn't always for the better. So uh, there was a story about uh, Whole Foods was selling oranges, and they were they were putting them in uh, ready peeled in a plastic container. <laughs> and, and somebody commented very much tongue in cheek. Oh, if only nature could find a way to cover oranges so we wouldn't be ma wasting plastic. So they took the peel off and they then put covered it in plastic. In plastic, it yeah. was perfectly good sitting there with the peel on it, right? Yeah. Well, and, you know, but and the problem, of course, is that plastic is now everywhere. It's, yeah, and, for sure. and you know, it's taking over. Well, what over. drew me to this article? It's named "The Long History of Food Packaging and Why We Should Why We Became So Attached to It." Was a section in here about edible packaging. Mm -hmm. And I've always contended that sushi, the rice around the sushi, was the package for the or meat. It was seaweed that wraps around it. Well, the seaweed too, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The original Earl of Sandwich was using uh, two pieces of uh, wheat, mm -hmm. you know, like in a bread. sandwich, bread mm -hmm. to hold. 
so the juices wouldn't be dripping all over while he was playing games. To hold the meat. To hold the meat. So yeah. the, these things have always been used as packages, and sooner or later when you're starving, you start eating them. When it saves your life, you say, well, I better remember this, mm -hmm. and then becomes part of the staple into your religious holidays and things like that. Well, they so. are looking at bio, biodegradable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever that is. Edible, yeah. biodegrading packaging mm -hmm. that uh, you can also eat. Uh, edible glasses made of seaweed with organic sweeteners and natural flavors. So, you know, I don't know that that will catch on. It's part of the problem is keeping it in various environments and yeah. deterioration and so on. But uh, Well, anyways, just to understand it's, that the healthiest food is not in the package. Right. That's the whole thing That's behind this, thing. but yeah. I think it's interesting to look back at history and see some of these things. It's kind of fun. Yeah, well, well, we're drawing to a close, and yep. uh, we will not be here next week. Nope. But happy, happy holidays to everyone, and happy New Year! And we'll see you after the first. Yep. Be well. Be safe. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched.